Normal pediatric foot x-ray. Normal pediatric foot x-ray. The radiographic parameters of a normal pediatric foot x-ray can be helpful in determining the cause of a pediatric foot deformity. The foot is composed of approximately 90% cartilage. This means that radiographs from the lateral and dorsal plantar views cannot reveal non-ossified portions of the tarsals or intertarsal joints. A two-dimensional analysis of a normal pediatric child's foot enables the physician to determine whether or not the child is experiencing any symptoms related to the deformity. The AP and lateral views are the basic radiographic examination of the foot. For infants and toddlers, the AP and lateral views are sufficient. For club's foot deformity, however, standing views are often necessary. During this procedure, an infant is held upright and the central ray is angled 15 degrees towards the heel to minimize the overlap between the lower leg and posterior foot. The AP view is used to evaluate the calcaneus, while the lateral view is used to evaluate the subtalar joint. The lateral and dorsal plantar views are the most common radiographic examinations of the foot. A child's ankle and foot should always be positioned firmly on a table. The lateral and dorsal plantal views are not suitable for evaluating the position of the ankle joint. The AP view should be angled 15 degrees toward the heel to minimize the overlap between the lower leg and the posterior foot. Normal pediatric foot x-ray findings are typically caused by indirect or direct forces. Non-weight-bearing radiographic examinations are not reliable for evaluating the alignment of the bones. For infants, a Harris view of the calcaneus is often required to evaluate the subtalar joint. In children with club foot deformity, standing views are required. The use of a solid plastic form helps reduce overlap of the posterior foot and lower leg. A normal pediatric foot x-ray will show no significant structural abnormalities. The basic imaging studies of the foot include anteroposterior, AP, and lateral views. A Harris view of the calcaneus is also required for accurate evaluation of the subtalar joint. The standing views of the feet are the most accurate for assessing the alignment. They should also be taken in infants with club foot deformities. A normal pediatric foot x-ray will show an abnormal bone structure. An AP or lateral view is the first imaging study of the foot. The lateral and dorsal plantar views are the most accurate for bone alignment. A Harris view of the calcaneus is also needed for the subtalar joint. An AP or lateral pediatric x-ray should be performed for detecting any unusual structures. A child's feet may be injured. Such injuries can result in a fracture of the shaft or neck. Children with foot injuries often experience pain, swelling, and bruising. The AP and lateral projections provide the best alignment information. If the child is suffering from a deformity, the doctor should order a simulated standing radiograph to determine the root cause. For example, the AP and lateral views should be angular to minimize the risk of inverted calcaneus. The most common pediatric foot injuries are caused by inverted and avulsed fifth metatarsal base. Despite the fact that these injuries are common, they can also be easily prevented. The MRI of the foot should be performed regularly and a child's foot can be scanned for the presence of a wide variety of diseases. If a child is not showing any abnormalities, a simulated X-ray is not necessary. The AP and lateral views are the most basic types of radiographic studies of the foot. A child's feet are examined with the help of plain radiographs. The AP and lateral views provide the most reliable alignment information. If a child has a club foot deformity, a standing view is needed. In a simulated standing x-ray, the infant foot is held in a forced dorsiflexion position for a few minutes. In contrast, a CT is not a reliable diagnostic tool. Its limitations include an inability to evaluate adductus, the inability to define ossification, and a lack of bone density. Mr. Imaging is useful in determining the position of tarsal ossification in infants. Similarly, a CT can provide a detailed anatomic view of the tarsal bone. Normal foot x-ray, normal foot x-ray, normal foot x-ray.